Hey, Motorman here. This past weekend, Sunday, two days ago, this is Tuesday morning, I had a rider that was making a lot of mistakes. Now, I know the mistakes people are going to make before they even make them, whether it be too much throttle, not enough throttle, too much brake, not enough brake, too fast, too slow, whatever. I've seen it all. But this rider encompassed all of those mistakes in one. He was doing all of them. Still, I was able to improve his riding by at least 100%. But that's not saying enough, especially for him, because he has determination to be the best rider he can be. So I'm going to show you the mistakes he made this past Sunday, and I'm going to show you the improvements next Saturday and Sunday. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you click the notification bell so you'll see how this rider improves. It's going to be a, an amazing improvement, I guarantee it, because this guy is determined. Let's take a look at what we've got so far. We always start with the slow cone weave now. Notice these small flat type cones. I put those there first and have the riders going through so that they start getting the motorcycle to dip. After three or four times through that, I'll switch to the bigger cones. And when they start hitting the bigger cones, they'll realize they're not dipping near enough. Get a little more aggressive with the bars to get that bike dipping more. He's not doing too bad here. He's idle is or his throttle is too high and he's not dipping near enough but that's I've seen that a lot it's that's very normal his u-turn here 30 foot u-turn he's kind of looking at that outside Four. cone and well he almost hits it now he has to go through the larger cones and because he's not dipping enough you can see he knocked uh, quite a few of them over again pretty normal he does however make a few runs where he doesn't hit any of the cones and he's dipping just a little bit more well, that's all good, but like I said, he's going to wind right up doing here. a Look lot here. of mistakes, and I'll Look. point Look. out each one to you. I'll show you this U-turn in slow motion and see the mistake he's making. Now, I'm pointing at my head, so he looks at me. Then he turns his head and looks at the cone he doesn't want to hit. Of course, you look at the thing you don't want to hit, you're going to get really close to hitting it, or you'll actually knock the cone over. No big deal. It happens. But the idea is to get your head turned as far as possible. Now we move on to exercise two. Notice right here, the bike should already be turning, but he's trying to keep it as straight up as possible. Watch this arrow that I'm going to show you right here. That's where his bike should be, but he's not doing it. He's going straight, and he's going to try to turn 180 degrees to get back to the next gate. That's difficult. It can be done, but it's doing it the hard way. As he goes through this gate here, again, he straightens up the motorcycle. The bike should be leaning the entire time. The further you lean the bike, the tighter the turn you can make. If you don't lean the bike, you're going to go straight, especially if you look straight. Now, he's trying to get back to that gate where I'm pointing to right here, but because the bike is straight up, it makes it almost impossible for him to get back there, especially since he's fighting that lean. He winds up skipping the entire gate. Notice where his bike is here, where the arrow is pointing is where he should be, about six feet to the right. Continuing again in slow motion, he makes it through that gate but misses the green cone again by five or six feet, and that makes him miss the next two gate. Gates. You do realize you missed half the gates, yeah, right? Yeah, that's, that's when I got down there, I was like, why the hell did I miss all of those? Yeah. So oh. green to green, 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 green. Okay, yeah, because I was like, a little too much throttle, a little too much. In this view, I'm looking at him turn. and I'm yelling to turn his head. And when I just yell turn, I mean to turn his head turn. and the motorcycle will follow. He tries to do it, Look but here. again, he's fighting that lean so much. Turn. Notice he misses the cone, the outside cone, and that causes him to hit the inside cone. And of course he aborts the entire exercise and has to start over. Because there's room for error, despite him making errors, he is able to finally Master. make it through the exercise. It's about the fifth try. Still not leaning the bike enough and getting his head around quick enough. Now watch this here. He's four or five feet away from that green cone. He should be close to it. That will make it easier for him because it gives him more room. Gets this one really close to that green cone. That gives him more room to make these S-shaped turns. And as I said, because there's room for error, he's still able to make it through. 
Still using way too much throttle and way too much pressure on the rear brake, but he is getting better. So from the first time through, this is at least 100% improvement. Now we move on to the U-turn exercise. He's coming in way too fast. Slows down in the middle of the turn, almost hits that cone because, well, he was looking at it. Now notice the other riders making this dip. That makes the U-turn so much easier. This rider has a beautiful dip. The more aggressive that dip, the easier the U-turn is going to be. be. Nigel, though, he's not really doing a dip. He's just steering towards the green cone. And then he doesn't turn his head fast enough or far enough. And watch what happens. He goes outside of the allotted area. Now that's 27 feet. He's done 30 foot U-turns without a problem, but the 27 feet got to get the head around faster. Two things, Virgil. Huh? Two things. No dip. And then you looked over here. Once he gets that U-turn down pad a few times, move on to the entire intersection. It's mind over matter. The U-turn is going to be the same size every time. Every one of the legs are the same size, 27 feet wide. As he tries the first right hand and then U-turn, he misses that green comb by six feet, and there's no way to make that U-turn then. This is what the U-turn should look like. All the way to the green. Let's watch him try again. He gets close to the green cone as he should, turns his head, leans the bike, and he makes it through. Now he misses that green cone, look at that, by six or eight feet, so that's, that's too tight a turn for his skill level. And he winds up aborting. You're going way too fast for your skill level. You're, you're going about 12 miles an hour into that leg. That's too fast. All the way to the green. Turn those bars. All the way, turn. He's still going too slow, not leaning enough, and using way too much throttle and rear brake. But despite that, because there's plenty of room for error, without leaning the bike very much, he does manage to make it through the intersection. I guarantee, though, after next week, there will be monumental improvements. So please subscribe, hit the notification bell, so you'll see the next one.